Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to call Signup API from Node.js in React. So let's get started. You can see here the Node.js application. So first of all, I'm going to install course in Node.js application. The course will use to allow all origins that API request will get from the front end. So let me open here the PowerShell. And here I'm going to write the command to install the course. So the command is npm space install and the course over here. Let's hit enter. And you can see course installed successfully. Let me open here the package.json and you can see here the version of the course that is a 2.8.5. So here in the app.js, I'm going to use course. Before that, I'm going to import. And here in the argument, we need to pass course. Okay. So let me stop the application and rerun again. And you can see application started. Let's go to React application and call this API. You can see here the sign up component in the React application inside the handle submit function. Let me remove this console.logs. Here I'm going to add try catch and finally block. and uh, finally over here in the catch block i'm going to add console.error where we will print the error message in the finally block i'm going to make the state empty so let me call here set form data and here we need to empty the email name and the password input so the first one we have email let me make it empty after that we have a name input and the last we have the password input okay and in the try block i'm going to write the implementation to call the api from node.js in the argument of the fetch i'm going to add the url of our backend application that is a http colon slash slash localhost colon port that is a five triple zero slash URL forward API that is a user slash register after that we need to add here the method that is a post we also need to add here the content type so it will be in the headers let me add here the content type and it will be a type of application slash JSON okay after that we need to pass here the body so let me add here the state that is a form data and we need to pass in the type of a json so let me call here json dot stringify and in the argument we need to pass the state that is a form data so here i'm going to initialize a variable that is a response to save the response of this api after that i'm going to transform the response in the type of a json let me initialize here the variable to save the response of this. Okay. So after that, I'm going to add here the console.log where we will print the result into the console. After getting the response, we need to navigate the user to the login page. So let me initialize here the use navigate hook. okay so here i'm going to call navigate and here we need to pass the url of our login page that is a slash login let me add here the await okay so let's go to ui and let's test the api you can see here the sign up component let me add here the email and the name and the password over here let's click on this sign up button and you can see the response of the api with the message user created successfully and you can see here the user object that we got from the response of the api with the id role password that is a form of a hash name and the email and it also navigates us to the login component let's go to ui and let's create another user 
So let me add here the email and the name and the password over here. And you can see it's navigate us to the login component. Let's go to MongoDB. Let me refresh the users model. And you can see here the second created user with the name Zach. So that's all for now from my side. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.